guys welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to make this mesh cushion so you need to make two sides so this is one side um yeah so let's just get right into it so to begin you need a size six millimeter hook some thick yarn this yarn if you do not have that yarn you can use normal acrylic acrylic yarn then you double it so I'm using 300 grams of um, of this thick yarn. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so to begin, I'm going to do a slip knot. I'm going to take my yarn, wrap it on my yarn, make an X on one side and on the other side two parallel lines. I'm going to, to lift the one, this one, and I'm going to grab that the one that's behind this, and I will pull. That's a slip knot. Right. After doing my slip knot, I'm going to chain 50 stitches, 50 chains. So I'm going to move my hook forwards, go up a little bit, turn my hook to face down, and move backwards. And I'm holding the thing that I'm crocheting with this finger and this finger, and I'm just letting my yarn hang on this finger. So I've done one, do it again, forwards, go up a little bit, turn my hook to face down, and go backwards please check my previous videos on how to chain um i've done other videos slowly three uh three so i'm going to do the rest of camera okay so i've chained 50 stitches so now in the third chain so one two three into this chain i'm going to yarn over or put my hand on my hook like this and i'm going to go into that third stitch and insert my hook i'm going to grab some yarn now you're going to notice I have three loops. I'm going to grab some yarn again and pass through the first two loops. Like this. Grab some yarn again and pass through the last two loops. And that is a double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over again. Go into the next stitch. Grab some yarn. I have three loops again. Grab some yarn. Pass through the first two loops. Grab some yarn again and pass through the second two loops. And that's a double crochet. That's not the stitch that we'll be working with. So we'll be doing double crochets. So I'm going to do double crochets all the way to the end and I come back. Okay, so I'm done. So to start a new line, I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. So at the end of the each line, you're going to chain three. Then you turn your work to start a new line. So we're going to do three rows. Um, yeah, so this is your first single crochet. So we're not going to work into this part. You're going to work in the second one. So yarn over and insert your hook into the second stitch and you start your single crochet, your double crochets again. So this first one will be your first double crochet. Then you do the rest. So we're going to do three rows and at the end of each row, you're going to chain three to start a new row. So let me do that and I come back chain three and do the last third row turn my work first row second double crochet in the second stitch okay so i've done the first part which is the three rows we're going to continue we're going to chain three two three and we turn our work so now we get this is our first double crochet we're going to do five more double crochets so we'll only be doing six so plus this one so one plus five more so you're going to do five double crochets and i come back okay so i've done the five double crochets and that's it we're going to chain three two three two, two, and then i'll turn my work to start a new row then i'm going to do double crochets all the way so i'm going to do 19 rows so this is my first row and this will be your first double crochet and you start working into your second stitch so i'm going to do this is the second row you need 19 so i'm doing to do 19 this is two so i need to do 17 more rows and i come back i just wanted to say in the last double crochet it's just easier to go score in the loop underneath than looking for the loop you just do your double crochet chain one at the and cut So your thing should be looking like this. So now 
I'm going to turn it and we're going to do the same into six stitches. We're going to do 19 rows. So I'm going to do a slip knot. Right, so I'm going to go into that first stitch. Grab some yarn and do a single crochet to secure that yarn and chain three. That's my first double crochet. Now I'm going to go to the second stitch. I'm gonna take this yarn and put it under there and I'm going to do the second double crochet. So I need to do six. So this is number three. So let me do the rest of comma. Right, so I've done six uh, double crochets like this. I'm going to chain three to start my new row. So I've done one row. I'm going to do 18 more rows because I need a total of 19 rows. So I'm going to do that off camera and I'll come back. Okay, after the 19 rows, chain one and cut. Okay, so now your thing should be looking like this. Hold on. Okay. So now your thing should be looking like this. Right. We're going to start the mesh. The mesh I'm going to do a slip knot. Like that. And I'm going to go into my this corner. Right here. And I'm going to insert my hook there. I'm going to grab some yarn. Do a single crochet. Just like that. And I'm going to chain five. One. Two, three, four, five. After chaining five, I'm going to count four stitches. So one, two, three, four. Into the fourth stitch, I'm going to insert my hook there, grab some yarn, and do a single crochet, just like that. Then I'm going to chain five. Five. Then I'm going to count four stitches again. One, two, three, four. Into the fourth stitch, insert my Hook in there, grab some yarn and do a single crochet. Then chain five, and I'm going to so it's creating these loops. I'm going to do that all the way until get I get the end. Okay, so I've reached the end. I'm going to chain five, five. Then after chaining five, I'm going to go here. I'm going to count three rows. So one, two, three. And after the third row, I'm going to insert my hook in there, grab some yarn, and do a single crochet. So it's going to create that loop. Then I'm going to turn my work. I'm going to chain five. Okay, so I've chained five. Then I'm going to insert my hook into that loop, grab some yarn, and do a single crochet. After doing a single crochet, so that's how I join, then I'm going to do five chain five okay so i've chained five then i'm going to go into the next loop insert my hook in there grab some yarn first do a single crochet then chain five so i'm going to continue doing that chaining five and doing a single crochet to join until i get to the end of my line okay so i've gotten to the end again i'm going to count three three rows one two three and in here that's when here i'm going to insert my hook in there And I'll join with a single crochet like that. So this is what we've done. See, it's starting to join. So I'm going to continue doing that chaining five. Oh, five. Then you turn your work. And you repeat what we've been, what we've been doing. So after chaining five, you go into the next loop. You do a single crochet. You chain five again. Going to the next loop. Chain, do a single crochet. Chain five. So you continue doing that until you get to the end. Then you count three rows again. So one, two, three. Here, you, okay, let me do that now. I'll come back and I'll show you. 
yes i've changed my last uh, five so i'm going to count i'm at the end now one two three so now here my my third row it ends here but i'm just going to put my hook in there and this is the same position that you put your your hook in the other side too so i'm going to put it in there do a single crochet then you start again chaining chaining five then into the loop next to me first do a single crochet chain five single crochet chain five like that so you're going to do that you're going to continue to do that until you get to the 15th uh 15th row then i come back so i'm going to do all of that and i come back after the 15th row you're going to see that you're left with four rows so into the last a stitch into the last stitch right there I've already chained five I'm going to do a single crochet so you're going to do like what we were doing but we just put in the la in the fourth row instead of the three because we've got 19 so I'm going to continue what I was doing chaining five and single crocheting And then I turn my work and a single crochet then chain five I'm going to repeat that until I get to the end so doing the last time of the mesh and you've reached the other end and you've put in the last stitch now what I'm going to do I'm going to chain four so one two three four and what I'm doing I'm trying to create a border then I'm going to chain I'm going to single crochet in the next loop so I'm creating a straight line then I'm going to chain four again two three four then I'm going to single crochet in the next loop like that so I'm creating a straight border straight border like that so i'm going to continue that until i get to the end here and i'll do something different so let me do that and come back okay so now i'm at the end i'm going to insert my hook into the last stitch and i'm going to hold on i don't want this yarn i'm going to grab some yarn so now i have two loops and I'm going to slip this loop into this loop. So I'm going to do a slip stitch. Right. Then I'm going to go into the next stitch. Grab some yarn again. You have two loops. And I'm going to slip stitch. So I'm going to slip stitch till I get to the end. I'll fast forward this part. Okay. So once I finish the slip stitches, I'm going to chain single crochet into the next stitches I want to create like a level ground hold on so I'm going to do single crochet so here this part I'm going to do six single crochets of course into the six stitches so let me do the first single crochet six single crochets okay so we want to do 36 stitches so i've done three stitches three single crochets and one single crochet in the joining one so what we're going to do in the first three joining the part that we're joining that's joining the loops here we're also going to do a single crochet because if we do three 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 we've got 10 loops that will give us 30 so we're going to do three and three also in the joining loops and at the and also we're also going to do a single crochet in each of the last three joints here so a total of 36 so I'm going to do that and I come back and these are single crochets you guys right so after doing the single crochets in each um, of the last six also now you're done your row so now what you're going to do we're going to do three rows of double crochets so you know how we start a double crochet you first chain three 
at the beginning. Remember to when you're starting a new role, you chain three, then you continue to do your what? And that's your first double crochet. You continue to do your your double crochets. I'm going to do three double three rows of double crochets. These rows here. So I'm going to do these rows and I come back you guys. Okay, so when you've done the three rows, now what we're going to do, we're almost done with our thing. So now we're going to chain one, two. So at the corners, at each of the corners, we're going to first chain two like this. Then we're going to go in the spaces. So into the spaces, we're going to do two single crochets. Like that and we're going to go into the next space two single crochets so you're going to do that all I've just reached another corner I'm going to chain two remember I said at, the, at each corner you chain two and this is just to make your corner straight then you go into that first into that space you do two single crochets so those two what you call it chains that you do it makes your corner straight and you're going to this side now it's just sorry this side you'll be going into each stitch sorry it's going into there and you do a single crochet like that in each stitch because like that Like that so you're going to so this sides this side and this side you do single crochets then the other side this one where you've got these spaces you'll be doing two 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 so I'm going to simply do that then I come back and our I'll come back on the last stitch and I will show you how to cut and do we're almost done okay so I've gone around and I've changed two again so I'm not going to go into the last stitch, grab my hook, grab some yarn again, some yarn. Now I have two loops and I'm going to slip this one into this one, just like this, like that. And now, at this point, I'm going to cut my yarn, I've cut my yarn, now I'm going to take my yarn and I just pass it through in here like this that's all so at this point our cushion is the one side is finished so what we just need to do now is to cut all loose ends then we're going to join this we're going to join the cushion just make sure you put it one on top of the other Again, this is 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters cushion. See, it literally like lines up because we did exactly the same thing we did on, on the first one, we did on the second. So now I'm going to quickly show you how to join this. So, um, I'm going to tuck in all the loose. What you got it all the loose threads I'm gonna tuck them and cut them then I come back then I'll show you how to join this okay so to join I have put the, my two parts one on top of the other right so I'm simply going to do a slip knot um, right so now I'm going to join three sides so this one this one and this one okay then i'll leave this one i'll tell you what to do okay so we're going to okay so to join i'm going to insert my oh, sorry I'm going to go into the v like that then i'm going to take my i really need to just slip knot on this one then i put it down there so I'm going to join with single crochet so I'm going to bring that loop 
to the top and I'm going to do chain one and I'm going to go into the next stitch so the stitch that's on top and I'll go to the adjusting to the adjacent one then I'm going to and I do a single crochet like that then I go to the next stitch and align it to the one at the back and I join just like that so I'm going to join for the three sides except this one and I'll tell you what we will do on that one so I'm going to continue to do this single crochets until I finish the first three parts then I come back done the one side I forgot to say when you get to the corner also chain two no, you want your corners to be then you start again see so start aligning them so and just remember that at the corners oh just remember that at the corners you line them right okay so i will meet you when i get when i'm done this when i'm here when i get to this part when i'm left with just one side so i have let me just flip it so lovelies i have joined this part this part and this part so now I'm on this side now. So this is the corner. I'm just going to chain two to turn. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to count. I'm going to count this. If you look at the side, you see these holes. These ones here. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to join up to this, the five holes. I'm going to go into the first stitch. First stitch that side also. I'm going to join with single crochets. Okay, so I've joined until the fifth hole. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop joining, then I'm going to <clears throat> go into the stitch now, the next stitch, and I'm going to continue the next stitch, and I'm going to continue to do single crochets, just on the top one. So I'm no longer joining, I'm just doing on the top one. So now I'm going, I've counted five holes, one, two, three, four, five. So it stops here. So I'm going to do single crochets from here to this point here. So let me do that off camera and I come back. So I've reached my stick marker. I'm going to take off my stick marker like this. Then I'm going to go into the next stitch. To, and I'm going to go into the adjusting one. And I'm going to start to join again. With single crochets. Okay, so let me join up to here. And I'll come back. Okay, so I've joined to the end I'm just going to go into the next stitch here and I'll do a, another single crochet at this point you can cut if you want so, so I've cut my yarn and I'm just going to put my yarn through that one like that it's literally finished so what I'm going to do now I'm going to make a chain I'm going to make 
Oh, to make this chain, it's simple. I'm just making a slip knot. And I'm just making chains. So, one, two. Yeah, so I'm going to make, let me chain 150. And I come back. Okay, so this is my chain with... Uh, okay, so I'm going to put my cushion. What you're going to do... You're going to take your peeler and you're going to put your chains in the sixth hole and it passes through both. You're going to make sure that you're they're the same. Now what you're going to do, you're going to take this one and you're going to pass it through that hole. That's hole number seven. Then you're going to take this one on this side and you're going to pass it through the next hole, which is this one. Like that. So now you've created this loop here. Okay, so now your threads are in the middle. So you're going to do a zigzag. So you're going to do a zigzag. The one that's on top, this one, you're going to put it at the next hole that's at the bottom. Like that. And the one here that's at the bottom, you're going to do a zigzag and it's going to go to the top, into the next hole, forming that zigzag. And the threads are now outside again. You're going to put it in the next hole on this side and you're going to put it on the next hole on this side now your threads are inside again right so the one at the bottom you're going to zigzag and it's going to go to the top next hole pass through like that and the one that was on the bottom at the top here is going to go to the bottom into that hole so you're going to continue towards the end and when you you can tie this and you can tuck it in you guys you can just 